turn this into this. First of all, mask each hair strands that you want to move. Keep duplicating the layer and mask the hair strands that should be moved. Once done, mask the whole head out for the final layer which will act as a base. Now copy all masks that you created and paste them into the base layer. Once done, select every mask and change add to subtract in the base layer. This means that hair masks are removed from this layer which will create blank spaces. Now paint all the blank areas inside the head part so when the movement happens, it does not have any empty spaces. Here, I want to show the ear above the neck hair and for that, I will duplicate the Zenitsa layer and make a new mask for the ear and then paste this mask to the base layer. Now time to add pins using the puppet tool. Remember, the hair part which is near the head should not move for that we will remove the keyframes of those pins but in the case of the end part of the hair, we need those keyframes to show movement. The pins without keyframes will not move and the pins with keyframes will move because of the script. Do the same process for all layers which has the hair mask except the base layer. Once everything is done, run the script and change the settings however you like. I like to change amplitude, frequency, and delay to give it a natural flow of hair and you can give it a try as well. Also, this script will be available in the description.